Professor Jay Kumar. Uh, I am uh, director of uh, Periyar Manima University. Uh, I am one of the directors in the university. I take care of the uh, online education, it's a center for online and distance education, and which also promotes uh, other uh, online programs like uh, SAP, and Six Sigma. I am also additional director for Center for University Industry and Fraction. Plus, I, am, I also uh, belong to the Faculty of Management Studies in the same university. Uh, when I tell them about the concept of uh, Six Sigma, just to give them a brief, and I also tell them some success, success stories where the earlier uh, uh, batches, uh, in my earlier assignment as a Dean of a Business School, uh, how they got benefited. So they said, okay, let me try it out. And uh, and they uh, attended your program, Six Sigma Greenbelt program. And Benchmark Six Sigma gave, uh, were kind enough to give us a good discount for the students. We arranged a special uh, accommodation in Chennai for them, including girl students. So they came in batches. And uh, all of them got very good projects. Okay. All of them got projects and uh, in fact in this uh, season there were at least three or four of them got very good placements two of them abroad okay and that's one part another one is as a teacher I, I, how i look uh, at their personality or their learning style has changed to a great extent i feel a mediocre student after attending the program they tend to think a little more differently um, they tend to think uh, more methodologically or you know, um, uh, systematically and uh, I think uh, the personality also changes when they attend such programs and when they interact with people from the corporate side you know in the group they get connected and they get uh, get into a network through their connections they get placed they get projects and uh, their style itself changes right. uh, so these projects which they are doing, uh, are these uh, Six Sigma projects? Yeah, I recommend actually um, this uh, Green Belt to be in the third year okay. of engineering or first year of uh, management. So what it, uh, it should happen is when they get into the project uh, semester, they apply this principle in uh, you know, methodology into their projects in the th fourth year of engineering. And uh, then it becomes a green belted project, right. which any organization would prefer. I had some students, you know, really uh, trying to find for a find a project, and uh, uh, you know, when the company knows that person is already green belt certified, I said, okay, why don't you come and do your project here? You right. start off with your green belt project itself. Okay, you know the methodology. Now you do the project. Uh, from the company side, if the person uh, has, you know, somewhat not so go good in soft skills or not in great in communication, they tend to, you know, negate that. They don't. They don't say it's okay, but he is a quality person. He is a certified green belt, um, so he would be good for our organization. So they close their eyes a little bit for the soft skill side. Because they have a very fine hard skill like six Sigma. Right, right. So the company take them and they do well. A student of mine, he got a great award for quality and he was not great in communication. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Today he is a master black belt level one and he is an IBM. Great. Mm -hmm. So uh, mediocre students, not so good students, not, not great in communication, they get uh, Placed. So, in, in how many years this person has reached that master black belt uh, position? About three years. Three years time. Yes. That is great. Mm. He found that uh, these students are placed and it is now, you know, getting word of mouth uh, spread among the students. That's one. Secondly, we wanted to, you know, throw this methodology and uh, inculcate a sense of, uh, you know, Six Sigma principles and its applications to all the professors in the university. So we started off with an awareness program and creating an academy itself. 
and our honorable vice chancellor was very very helpful in uh, you know uh, in getting all of them trained at least with an elevated level as a basic level right okay. so yeah. they propagate further down to the students sure so we have about 400 uh, faculties uh, teaching faculty so we are going to have an a face to manner training for all the, all of them and uh, 47 of them already are certified uh, yellow belt level okay so uh, that is enough for a faculty you know mm-hmm. but they should push the students to you know uh, train or they can also do the green belt either in house or outside uh, like benchmark uh, yeah i think we I are think also planning uh, to associate with you and see the possibilities of uh, doing it either in house or outside wherever it is convenient because now we are in a little bit of distance mm. but we have that kind of ambience we can create that kind of facilities um, to your standards and uh, have it uh, delivered to your quality mm. we will not compromise on that so right i think that is important yes. definitely we will not compromise on that uh, deliverables of six sigma methodology when it comes to certification so yeah i think i agree the faculty has a uh, very important guidance role yes and uh, uh, i don't know whether you are aware we actually have trained nift uh, yeah. complete faculty in oh, nift yeah. chennai they all went through green belt oh. and they did very well and they are now doing projects the faculty has also started doing green belt projects oh. in the industry along with the industry but this particular student uh, i was not able to place him mm. uh, for about a year or so okay mm. i pushed him to do the screen book mm. and he started uh, hanging his cv in some sites and he said sir now i uh, it's pouring <laughs> i said mm. what's pouring i'm getting calls mm. i'm getting shortlisted <clears throat> he had difficulty in communication okay and he Uh, if i can mention the organization he was picked up by tcs okay okay mm. after the green belt and then they sponsored him for black belt uh, and then he did very well and uh, his uh, communication difficulties were uh, overlooked okay because mm. he was very good in the quality process right okay uh, his uh, wife now she mm. was a small accounts person uh, and she went into a, a multinational company if i can mention the company is called yonex okay and uh, she got uh, into branch manager level i don't know what trick she did <laughs> she got the company 3.75 crores okay. profit in one year great mm. she applied the methodology in two domains hmm. hmm. she is an accounts person she did a uh, green belt application in finance and in marketing okay hmm. and uh, the company gave her 3.75 lakhs as just bonus great hmm. she is also doing very well now <coughs> and my students are already placed in dubai now ah. and two of them green belt certified persons right she is the first year student hmm. she is one of the toppers in, uh, in our class and the application of six sigma in that domain uh, i thought it is more serious Absolutely. biotechnology biochemistry aerospace right um, aerospace things will not work if it's uh, not in six sigma mode right because of the critical quality of the application right so this biotechnology and biochemistry so i recommended this girl you know, and she will do definitely well when she finishes uh, fourth year i am sure by the time you know i told her you must become a black belt by that time hmm. and you see where you will be placed one of the top most companies in india will pick you hmm. and uh, i am sure she will do my message for the engineering students uh, it is a definite value addition so when they go for placements project placements they have a cutting edge in a competitive situation they can face another uh, premier institution uh, engineering student who may not be a green belt for example 
you know, they have they can win over that kind of competition. So it's a definite value addition and a, a fantastic hard skill for an engineer. Person. For a management student, again, it's the same thing. Uh, he he or she looks at the problem in a different perspective. Uh, and application in management uh, domains is very, very vast as far as Six Sigma is concerned. So they also get placed and they become better managers. And if they are green, green belt or black belt certified, they scale up very, very fast. Uh, they become CEOs and vice presidents, uh, you know, before they can even think of right. that kind of position. Uh, so that way uh, it helps in management also. My message for management in particular, being a management, uh, from the management faculty, uh, to my students it helped them, uh, helped in a great way, particularly project placements and then final placements. They get better companies. Uh, even an ordinary student gets, a, gets into a multinational company. This is the advantage. And they come over uh, competition from other premier institutions where they are preferred. In fact, in some of the premier institutions, they have incorporated in the curriculum, I believe. For example, in IIMs, I think some of the IIMs they have incorporated in the curriculum. But a specific program they do, it is, uh, again, they can beat uh, any of the premier uh, institution days. Right. So, thank you, Professor Jay Kumar, and uh, hope that uh, you and the university will keep growing in the Six Sigma direction more and more. All the best. Thank you very much.